Hi, I'm Madison Inglot, and this is my dad, Noor. We farm five miles south of Momart, which is an hour southeast of Regina. We are part of the family farm, which my grandma and grandpa started. Allowing farmers to tell their own stories is key to the series Real Farm Lives. The online documentary features three farm families and seeks to bridge the gap between the city and the farm. I'm a seventh generation farmer. We live on our farm with my mom and dad, my wife Rachel, and my three kids, Sean, Melise, and Sadie. Spearheading the effort is CropLife Canada. They are the trade association for the companies providing crop protection tools as well as the seed and related technologies. So Real Farm Lives is a, it's a documentary style web series and it gives Canadian families a glimpse into the daily lives of real farm families. There's, uh, there'll be six episodes featuring three families uh, from Ontario and Saskatchewan. Giving farmers the lead in telling their own story provides an amazing learning dynamic. This is an opportunity really for the farmers to tell their story, like you said, and it's not, you know, there was no uh, script ahead of time. There was, this was really just a conversation and you see the excitement and the pride come out in each of the, in each of the discussions with the family. Another question was the selection of these families as Canadian farmers do a tremendous job growing the food that feeds the world. Well, we wanted families, obviously, that had an interesting uh, story, but we wanted to, uh, them to be sort of your average farm families. Uh, we looked at families that embodied modern farming, so that, that, that used uh, newer technologies, uh, that had unique personalities and interesting stories to tell. And I think, uh, I think the three families clearly fit that bill. I'm Shane Ardeal. I'm here on the farm with my son, Kyle, and my lead workhand, Kemroy. And we are here in Clarksburg, Ontario. The series also seeks to reconnect consumers with the story of how our food gets on the table. We know that families in, in Canada are, are further removed from agriculture than ever before. And uh, we're hoping that this will help build a connection, a bridge between uh, non-farm families and, and, uh, and the families that produce our food. What are we doing today, Luke? Maybe spray a bit. I guess we should, eh? Get going on that. Gerard Lampau, Primetime Local News.